bookkeeping and controller work are absolutely essential when it comes to responsibly running a nonprofit. They're not just important, they're required. Bookkeeping, though, focuses on the past. So, for example, it's asking the question, well, how did last month go? And, well, what was your revenue? And how did we manage our expenses? Well, that's very, very important, as I said, essential. And yet most nonprofit leaders really want to be and need to be looking into the future. I'm Teresa Clark and I'm a CPA with over 25 years of dedicated service to 501c3 nonprofits. I've had experience in the internal part of the organization as a CFO, but also as an external auditor. For nonprofits. And so I bring a very unique perspective to your financial journey. I hope you'll jump in and learn more about me at my website, TeresaClark.com. So if bookkeeping is like the rearview mirror of looking at what already happened, the forward-looking future work is about the front windshield and the destination of where you're headed. Asking questions like, can we afford to hire staff next quarter? When should we, what should we do this month to increase our budget? How long do we have cash to sustain us if this happened or if that cost went up? Well, the answers to those questions really set goals and strategic initiatives and they relate to your sustainability. And without clear answers, what I've found is that nonprofits start making decisions that are based on gut instincts that don't lead to where they wanna go or they get paralyzed by being in the unknown. Both of those situations are detrimental to your effectiveness. And so nonprofits realize they need help. They need to start looking forward, but they are facing a challenge. And that challenge to having this financial um, CFO, really a chief financial officer, and the, 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 the kind of reasons that they don't or the challenges that they don't go on and, and hire this position is that, number one, they don't need them full time. Or number two, hiring someone like this part time costs more than what the organization can afford. So that's where a fractional CFO comes in. It's an expert in the guide of finances, yet at a fraction of the time and the pay of what it would otherwise cost a nonprofit. And this fractional CFO role, which is what I do, helps to provide clarity through expert guidance, helps to understand numbers so that you can make data-driven decisions, and even further becomes an executive level partner, a person who helps with accountability and leadership in the financial area, as well as support strategic decision-making. So if your nonprofit is struggling with clarity in the finances and needs that strategic level leadership, I wanna invite you to consider the benefits of a fractional CFO. Again, that's what I do and I'd love to explore if maybe I could be a help to your organization to help you thrive in this time. So if you're interested, hop on my website, teresaclark.com, and let's explore further what's possible. See you next time.